four decades since the death of uh, Dr. Neil Agate. Some answers coming out from the Johannesburg High Court as a judge ruled that the first inquest was biased and that many of the witnesses had fabricated their uh, testimony during uh, that uh, proceedings. He ruled that Neil Agate's death was not a suicide, a point that the family had raised from the onset of his death in detention at John Foster Square Police Station all those years ago. With me, I want to bring in his partner at that time, Liz Boyd. Thank you so much for joining us. It's been a long journey for the family and those that you know loved uh, Neil Agate. How are you feeling? Let's start with how are you feeling right now, you know, hearing that quite lengthy judgment being read out here at the High Court? Well, I didn't expect such a clear judgment. Um, it's been 40 years since he died. The initial inquest was done under the most awful, intimidating circumstances and ex exposed the system of torture by security police of detainees. And at that time, that was a revelation. And it had a lot of implications in terms of particularly white South Africans understanding that torture was the norm um, and um, uh, flourishing of organizations to support people like detainees, people who were tortured, people who were assaulted by the police, and that kind of left in, led into the period where Kasata was set up and the United Democratic Front um, developed and really was a mobilization of the struggle against apartheid with um, 1990 bringing a change in, in the government. So um, 40 years later, it's a bit surprising um, when the legal team, team started the investigations in 2017, I didn't think there would be much new evidence to add. Um, they've been very thorough with the investigation led by Frank Dutton. The legal team has worked very, very carefully and there's been funding for the, uh, from the Foundation for Human Rights. Um, during the inquest, there was an extraordinary amount of information. Um, detainees who had really been intimidated in 92, 19, sorry, 82, um, had given evidence about their torture and it was dismissed by the magistrate at the time. All right, Hasina Gori in conversation there.